ಭಕ್ತನ ಚರಿತಾಮೃತ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಂಘ ಜಪ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚರಿತಾಮೃತ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಹರ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಂಜನಾ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಟು ಎನ್ಲೈಟನ್ ಅನ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂತ್ಯ ಲೀಲಾ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂಜನಾ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಅಬೇಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಟು ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೆರಿ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸಾರಿ ವೆರಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ association this morning and enlightening on the topic i hand over the call to you mata ji hare krishna hare krishna mata ji danas pranam and glory to shila prabhupada and guru maharaj thank you so much mata ji uh, for giving me this opportunity i know that i'm not qualified to talk about chaitanya charitamrita and chaitanya mahaprabhu lila but uh, hare krishna anjana gopika mata ji your voice is lit very low so if you can come near to the mata ji i am uh, near only mata ji is it okay mata ji now yeah no it's much better thank you oh, okay and do you want me to share the verses or you will do it yeah. i have i have a book if you want mata ji want i mean the mata ji that's fine but i have a book mata ji okay then then i'll share it for others okay okay mata ji thank you yeah. thank you so much mata ji for giving me this opportunity i know i am not qualified to talk about chaitanya charitramrita uh, but devotees are so merciful especially kritida sundari mata ji requested me to do the classes uh, uh, by all the devotees mercy i hope i can uh, share my some realization in this uh, verses uh, we can start today uh, chaitanya charitramrita ಅಂತ್ಯ ಲೀಲಾ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಅನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಏಥಾ ಕಾಶಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಆಸಿ ಪ್ರಭುರ ಚರಣೆ ರಾಜ ರಾಜರಿತ್ರ ಸವ ಕೈಲೆ ನಿವೇದಾನೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಕಾಶಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಓಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಕಾಹೆ ಕಾಶಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಕಿ ತುಮಿ ಕಾರೀಲ ರಾಜ ಪ್ರತಿ ಗ್ರಹ ತುಮಿ ಅಪನ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕಾಶಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಸೇಡ್ ಕಾಶಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಡನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಮೀ ಇನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ when the king heard the details of gopinatha patanayaka's unfortunate uh, condemnations he was induced to excuse his doubt debt in particular uh, because he felt that sri chaitanya mahaprabhu was very sorry about this incident the lord did not like the idea that uh, the money portrayed to gopinath patanayaka was indirectly a contribution to him therefore he immediately protested mishra kae suna prabhu raja ravachane akapate raja ei khaile nivedane kasi mishra said my dear king uh my dear lord uh, my dear uh, kasi mishra said my dear lord the king has drawn this without reservation kindly hear this statements prabhu ena nahi jane na raja amara lagiya dui laksha kahana kaudi dile khacha diya the king said speak to the lord in such a way that he will not think for my sake the king has portrayed to 
200,000 kahanas of cordage. The cordage is like an American scent or Japanese in. In the old medium of exchange, the first unit of currency was a small council called a cordy. Four cordy made one ganda, 20 gandas made one kana, and 16 panas made one kanas. Gopinatha Patanaika owed the government 200,000 kahanas. The king absorbed him of his of this doubt. Adept Ari appointed him to his post and doubled his salary. Bhavanandera putra sava mura priyatama iha sava kare ami dekhi atma sava Inform Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that all the sons of Bhavananda Rai are especially dear to me. I consider them like members of my family. Ata eva yahan yahan dehi adhikara Kae pie lute vilayana corona vichara. Therefore, I have appointed them collectors in various places. And although they spend the government's money, eat, drink, plunder, and distribute it as they like, I do not take them very seriously. Raja Maha Hindra Raja Kainu Rama Raya Ya Kaila Eva Dila Nahi Lekhada I made Ramananda Raya the government of Raja Maha Hindri. This is particularly no account of whatever money he took and distributed in the exposition purport near Raja Mahendri. Is a famous railway station. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati notes that the present Raja Mahendri city is located on the northern bank of the Godavari. At that time, when, uh, when Ramananda Rai was governor, however, the state capital, which was known as Vidyanagara or Vidyapura, was located on the southern side of the Godavari at the confluence of the Godavari and the sea. That was the part of the country which at that time was known as Raja Mahendri. North of Kalinga Desa is Utka Alinga or the state of Orissa. The capital of southern Orissa was known as Raja Mahendri, but now the location of Raja Mahendri has changed. Gopinata ehi mata bisaya kariya dui chari laksa kahana rayeta kahana. Having been appointed collector, Gopinatha in the same way also generally spent 200,000 to 400,000 uh, kahanas as he likes. Kuchi kichu deya, kichu na deya, na kari vichara, jana sahita apriyate. Dukha paila evara gopinata patanaika would collect some and pay some, spending it at will. But I would not consider this very seriously. This time, however, he was put into trouble because of uh, a misunderstanding with the prince. Jana eka kaila iya mui nai jonon. Bhavanandera putra save atma sama mahan. The prince created this situation without my knowledge. But actually, I consider all the sons of Bhavananda Raya to be like my relatives. Tahan lagi drabya chadi iha mat jane. Sahaje mora priti haya tahan asmane. Because of my intimate relationship with them, I have solved Gopinath Patanaika of all his debts. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not know this fact. Whatever I have done is because of my intimate relationship with the family of Bhavananda Rai. 
सुनिया राज विनय प्रभु आनंद हेना काले ऐला तथा राया भवानंद हैविंग हॉर्ड फ्रॉम काशी मिश्रा ऑल दिस स्टेटमेंट कंसर्निंग द किंग्स मेंटालिटी सी चैतन्य महाप्रभु वाज वेरी हैप्पी एट दैट टाइम भवानंद राया अराइव देयर पंचपुत्र सहित आसी पदिला चराने उतान प्रभु तान रे कैला अलिंगने भवानंद राय अलोंग विथ हिज फाइव सन्स फेल एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु लिफ्टेड हिम अप एंड एम्ब्रेस्ड हिम दस रामानंद राय रामानंद राय ऑल हिज ब्रदर्स एंड देयर फादर मेड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु देन भवानंद राय बिगिन स्पीकिंग तुम्हारा किन कराए शुभ मोर कूला ए बिपदे राखी प्रभु पुन नील मूला All these member of my family he said you are my eternal servants you have uh, you are uh, uh, are you are your eternal servant okay i read again all these member of my family he said are your eternal servants you have saved us from this great danger therefore you have purchased us for a proper price भक्त वसल्या एवे प्रकट करीला पूर्वे एन पंच पंद्रे विपदे तरीले यू हैव नाउ डेमोनस्ट्रेट योर लव फॉर योर डिवोटीज जस्ट हैज व्हेन यू प्रीवियसली सेव द फाइव पंडस पांडवस फ्रॉम द ग्रेट डेंजर नेतादति माथे गोपीनाथ चरणे पदीला राजा रकिरपा वृताना सकल कहिला गोपीनाथ पतनायका है हिज हेड कवर्ड विद द सिल्कन वापर फेल एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड डिस्क्राइब्ड इन डिटेल्स द किंग्स मर्सी टुवर्ड्स हिम बाकी कौड़ी वाड़ा आरा दैगुना वर्तना कैला प्रमाद कहन नेता धाति पुना ए सब प्रसाद आई वाज लिफ्टेड अपॉन आई वाज लिफ्टेड अपॉन द कांगा टू बी किल बट इंस्टेड आई वाज ऑनर विद दिस स्लिकन ओ दिस इज ऑल योर मर्सी सांगेरा ऊपर तुम्हारा चरण धन्य कैलुन चरण स्मरण प्रभु मेडिटेटिंग अपन योर लोटस फीट एंड द पावर ऑफ दैट रिमेम्बरेंस हैज हेल्ड ऑल दिस रिजल्ट्स लोके चमत्कार मुरा ये सब देखिया प्र प्रसन्न से तो मारा कृपा महिमा गान struck with wonder by my affairs the populace is glorifying the greatness of your mercy kintu tomara is ismarena ne na he mukhya pala pala vasaye yati visaya sansala however my lord these are not the principal result of meditating upon your lotus feet material opulence is very flickering therefore it is simply a glance of the result of your mercy one can achieve the highest perfection of life simply by meditating upon the lotus feet of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu generally people are concerned with the four religious principle namely religion opulence hence Liberation and liberation. However, as indicated in Sri Mad Bhagavatam, Dhar 
the king and then you may spend the balance for religious and creative activities do not explain na asad bayaya na kariha yate dui loko ya 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 etabali sabakare dalina vidhaya do not spend a Everything for sinful activities for which he will be loser both in this life and next. Saying this, Master uh, Sri Sri Mahaprabhu made this. The um Ra Raya Ragrahe Prabhu Ra Kirpa Vivarta Kaila Bhakta Vasya Guna Yate Bhakta Haila Das Ta. Mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was spoken of in the family of Pavananda Raya. That mercy was clearly demonstrated, although it is appropriate to do, to do something uh, different. The result of advancement in spiritual knowledge is not material improvement. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu advised Gopinath Patanayaka how to use material opulence without occurring reaction to sinful life. From this advice, it appeared that Lord encouraged Gopinath Patanayaka to enhance his material condition. Actually, however, he did not. In fact, that was uh, and this was but a manifestation of his great affection for his devotees. Savaya Alingiya Prabhu Vidhaya Yavedila Hari Dwani Kari Sava Bhakta Uthi Gela. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced them and all, uh, them all and bade them a farewell. Then all the devotees got up and made loudly chanting the holy name Hari, holy name of Hari. Prabhu Rakirpa Dekhi Savara Haila Chamatkara Tahara Bhujite Nare Prabhu Re Vyavahara. Seeing the extraordinary mercy of Lord granted to the family of Pamananda Raya, everyone was struck with wonder. They could not understand the behavior of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Tara Sabe Yedi Kirpa Karite Sadila Ama Haiti Kichu Nae Prabhu Tave Kaila. Indeed, when the, all the devotees had requested to the Lord to bestow his mercy upon Gopinath Patanayaka, the Lord had replied that he could do nothing. When a person is sinful, he loses both the chance of spiritual advancement and the chance of material opulence. If one enjoys the material all for sense gratification, he is certainly doomed. Advancement is material op opulence is not the direct mercy of the Sri Supreme Personality of God. And nevertheless, it indicates that indirect mercy of the Lord for even a person who attaches to material prosperity can gradually be detached and raised to the spiritual platform. Then he can offer causeless purified service to the Lord. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Ama haite ki chu nai, it is not my business to do anything. He said the ideal example for the person in renounced order life. If a sannyasi takes the side of Visay, a person engaged in material activities, his character will be quick. Uh, criticize a person in the renowned order should they uh, not take uh, interest in a material activities but if he does so out of affection for a particular person that uh, should be considered uh, all his special mercy gopinatha ninda ara apana nirveda ei matra kaila ihara na bujiyo veda simply describe the chastisement of gopinatha patanaika and sri chaitra mahaprabhu's indifference but the deep meaning of his behavior is very difficult to understand kasi misra na sadila da jare na sadila Yod Yoga Vina Mahaprabhu Eta Pala Dila. Sri Chaitra Mahaprabhu gave so much to Gopinath Patanayaka without directly making request to request of either Kashi Mishra or the king. The king. Chaitanya Charitra Ei Paramagambira. The intention of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so deep that one can understand him uh, only if uh, he has complete faith in the service of the lotus feet of the Lord. Whatever, whether or 
uh, whether or not one, one, not one understand it if one hears of this incident concerning the activities of Gopinatha Patanaika and Lord Sri Chitrama approves cartilage mercy upon him, certainly he will be promoted to the platform of ecstatic love for the Lord. And for, for his all danger will be nullified. Sri Rupa Raghunatha Pade Yahara Asa Chaitanya Charitram Vetakahe Krishna Dasa praying at the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya. Maha Sri uh, Lotus Feet of Sri Rupan Raku Sri Rakunatha always desiring their mercy. I Krishna Dasa narrate Sri Sitnam Haritra Mita following in their footstep. Magana Timiranda Syagananjana Slakaya Saksurulitam Tina Tasma Sri Guru in the Maha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Presta Yutale Sri. Taka Swami Nam Nina Matari Padai Nitai Pabdai Nikor Katada Mudena Gurkanutari Nam Vishnu Badaya Krishna Prestai Vitalish Mate Bhakti Vidanta Swami Nitinamni Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pacharini Near Vishesa Sinavadi Pasai Tedisatarini Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Shavasvati Pohra Bhakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Vansa Kalpata Rivesha Kirpa Sindhu Beva Chapati Tanama Pavane Vyo Vaishna Vivya Namo Nama Mukam Karoti Vatsalam Pangam Namaiti Grim Yat Kripa Tamaham Bande Sri Kaviti Nitharini Sri Chaitanya Hare Krishna, thank you so much. It's a, I actually read so much. Uh, I don't know how to share, uh, but I just uh, try to uh, share some realization. Uh, it's a lot. Shri Prabhupada also gave so much in the purport. And also, I really like uh, here uh, Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami was mentioning the intentions of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are so deep that one can understand them. Only if uh, if he has complete faith in the service to the lotus feet of the Lord, and then also he was uh, talking in the verse number one forty nine. I have simply described the chastisement of Gopinatha Patanaika and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this friends. Uh, friends. Uh, but the deep meaning of this behavior is very difficult to understand. Siddha uh, Mahaprabhu actually, uh, he came to deliver the fallen soul. Uh, he wanted to give this uh, pure love for Krishna to everyone. Everyone, all the including fallen soul. He was giving this mercy to the Jagai Madai through Nityananda Prabhu. And also he was giving this mercy to all the Mayavadi Sanyasa, yes, Aina, Banaras, Prakasananda Saraswati, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, everyone. And also he was giving his mercy here, we can see he was giving his mercy to all uh, Prataparuda, the king, all the section of people he was giving his mercy. All the Brahmanas, he was giving his mercy, he was giving this mercy to the um, Mayavadis, he was giving to the mercy to fallen souls like uh, Jagai Madai. And you can see he was giving this mercy uh, here, uh, Gopinatha Patanaika. He was a, a, a tax collector in the government. And then also by, by giving his mercy to uh, this Gopinath Patanaika, he was giving uh, his mercy to everyone, other uh, uh, general people and then Gopinath Patanaika was uh, mentioning here how uh, uh, means by delivering Gopinath Patanaika everyone can they can realize how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so merciful and you know? so merciful is uh, in the beginning Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he was not very happy uh, means directly involving in this uh, uh, kind of topic, you know, he was, uh, I am a son, I see how can I involve all this uh, kind of topic, my mind is polluted, I really want to remember Krishna every moment, and then all these things is coming, because they, uh, these all Babananda's sons are the, um, 
minister of the government and they are they wanted to they are collecting so many money and they are using unnecessarily for their purpose and then all these things it comes uh, all the masses comes to me i'm not very happy i wanted to move from this place you know alarnath he wanted to go somewhere different place so he uh, may say from this all kind of uh, yeah, hearing these activities you know uh, but uh, same time he was uh, telling i i cannot say very uh, i cannot do anything uh, this gopinath patanaika but um, he was uh, telling all the devotees you can pray to lord jagannath lord jagannath he is all merciful he can only say you know but um, and again yeah, krishna das kaviraj goswami is mentioning we never uh, we cannot understand the mercy of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, uh, but the deep meaning of the behavior of um, chaitanya mahaprabhu and his devotees behavior is very difficult to understand uh, here um, uh, when say uh, when uh, go, uh, when chaitanya all the devotees they come for the help for the gopinath patanaika chaitanya mahaprabhu was not happy why he was not happy they are all coming for material uh, some kind of material uh, uh, benefit and he was not happy he wanted uh, uh, somebody come uh, there to know about krishna hear about krishna you know uh, they want they uh, he want to discuss more about krishna but same time his purpose was to deliver all the fallen soul uh, all the soul you know all the uh, jivas who are suffering in this material world he cannot directly deny all these activities because he wanted to give his mercy in the beginning also before he was taking sanyasa uh, he was actually he was uh, talking about uh, uh, he was saying the gopi gopi and he was chanting the gopi's name all his friend and his disciple they could not understand his motive why he was uh, singing about the uh, gopi's name uh, and then yeah, they were uh, even uh, they were blaspheming to the lord that's the reason lord uh, thought I, i came for some purpose some uh, mission to give this uh, krishna prema but they are bless blaming me or they are offending me how can they will get this mercy and in this the reason he came, he took sanyas and he wanted to give uh, this mercy to the uh, or the fallen soul here uh, uh, what uh, my realize what i learned from this uh, um, this uh, past time is uh, lord is so merciful it does not matter what level they are in gopinath patanaika he was not doing uh, good behavior means he was not uh, honest in his work you know but lord is so merciful krishna also says in bhagavad gita na api chet sudura charo pachante mam ananya vak you know means even one commits uh, even one commits the most abominable action but if he is engaged in devotional service he is considered to a saintly person uh, sometimes it's very uh, difficult to understand when sila prabhupad time also so many uh, when prabhupad came and priests uh, here so many uh, uh, people they came in krishna consciousness and uh, uh, maybe everybody's behavior was not very good you know but uh, prabhupad was telling in such a way they can uh, purify themselves more and more and surrender to krishna and krishna also saying same thing in bhagavad gita and saitanya mahaprabhu even though he was uh, that's why it is uh, krishna das kaviraj uh, uh, was uh, mentioning here affectionate anger yes before he was very angry from outside but he was uh, same time he was very affection to gopinath patnaik or his their family he was very very uh, happy uh, inside because they were all devotees of krishna they were all they were all devoted to sri chaitanya mahaprabhu sometime it may look like is api chet sudura chare sometime it may look like they are indulging in this kind of act activities but uh, after some time by practicing devotional service they may come out from this situation just uh, our uh, senior devotees or uh, our acharya they gave the example of how 
and somebody is taking sour. We all are uh, different uh, condition by different disease. But if we come in the devotional service slowly, we can cleanse by this kind of uh, sinful desire. Yes, like uh, if somebody is taking a bath, I mean, he will surely clean up. Means now, if he's taking sour, after some time, surely he will be clean person. Like the same way, everybody, even though they have some kind of tendency to do uh, sinful activities because of their previous karma, but if they are engaged in the devotional service, it is okay. And that's, that's the reason Sindha Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was okay for that situation. He was still very affectionate in the in his mood and especially uh, krishna is so merciful to his devotees he is actually he's he's saying in the bhagavad gita also yes samo ham sarva bhutesu name desyo means he was uh, he was telling he is uh, partial to his devotee you know um, he, uh, even though uh, he was not, uh, he was not especially partial or envy or anything to any person. He was, he, he was not envy to anyone. He was not, um, he is equal to everyone. You know? uh, he was not partial to anyone, but he, ha he has shown his special mercy to his devotee. Because if somebody come and offer something with love and devotion, he will accept. As uh, Srila Prabhupada gave the example, king is uh, not uh, partial to his uh, uh, any citizen, but he is uh, especially he loves his uh, children, own children, you know. Even though they all are citizens of the country, but he gives a special uh, blessing or a special care to his own son. Because uh, he, they are his own son. Like that, devotees, devotees, even though Krishna for him, there is no envy. Nobody is envy. Nobody uh, partial to him. Everyone is equal. But same time, he, somebody comes and renders some service. He's, uh, they are his friend. Yes, he is uh, also friend to them. Uh, that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is showing his mercy, even any soul, any jiva, if they offer, if they come and do some devotional service to Krishna, he cannot neglect. He cannot neglect. Maybe he can give some kind of um, suggestion here, uh, Gopinath Patanaika, how he uh, purify him. Such a way, he was, even his tendency was, uh, to commit some kind, some kind of uh, um, dishonesty or uh, some kind of sinful, uh, uh, kind of sinful activities, but he purifies such a way. He he was fully surrendered to Krishna, and then he was asking the mercy like his brother, you know, Baninath and Ramananda Rai. That was uh, he was uh, saying, and another. Uh, uh, I really like here. And then uh, uh, here, uh, uh, Baninath, uh, Ramananda, Ramananda Rai, they were a uh, very pure devotee. They were fully dedicated to Krishna. That, uh, and, uh, but uh, Gopinath, uh, Patanaika had not that much of surrender, but he was also devotee. When he realized, when he got the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he also asked same mercy from the um, Mahaprabhu, you give me same mercy because you have not given this mercy to me. You only gave this mercy uh, to my brother Swabananda Raya and um, I'm sorry, uh, Ramananda Raya and Baninath. Actually, when while uh, the discussing was happening uh, with, the, uh, with the devotees, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, especially he requests, he asked, uh, How is Baninath? Doing in that situation because all the family they were arrested because of the Gopinath Patanaika's activities and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu especially asked what is Baninath was doing and then everyone the messenger was telling he was continuously chanting the holy name of Krishna every situation he is counting uh, his I mean, hand finger and chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu felt very happy in his heart, you know, because his real desire is all the souls, they come in that space and continuously chant the holy name of the Lord. But um, uh, uh, same time, uh, what uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied to Gopinath Patanaika, he wanted that mercy in that situation, but uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew his 
position, how much he can surrender, you know. That's what he was telling. In this situation, you are, uh, whatever you are doing, that's fine. Because he was telling, you should not do this previous activities now onwards. And then you, uh, you have to pay all the money of king's uh, revenue, whatever money you took, uh, uh, you were using, you should pay all the money. And whatever money is saved from your salary, you have to use for the religious purpose and fruitful activities, you know. And also Krishna Das Kaviraj uh, uh, was, uh, das Kaviraj was mentioning uh, by indulging, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was telling to him, by indulging, indulging in this kind of activities, your life will be not successful, you know. Krishna also said same thing in Bhagavad Gita. Because uh, when if they don't have faith in Bhagavad Gita, if they don't have faith in his scripture, uh, they, their life will be not happy. In this life also they cannot be peaceful and uh, what about their next life, you know, same thing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying same thing. You should stop this kind of activities. Now onwards you should use this money for the purpose of the religious activities and then fruitive, uh, fru uh, fruitive uh, religious uh, activities and fruitive activities he was telling but uh, Prabhupada is mentioning in the purport and the real purpose is not that you know Chitra Mahaprabhu's uh, real purpose is not that one when the person is sinful Prabhupada is telling he loses both the chance of spiritual advancement and sa the chance of the material opulence uh, if one enjoy the material or for sense gratification, uh, he, he is certainly good. But um, advancement in uh, material opulence is not the direct mercy of the Supreme Personality of God. Right. But uh, nevertheless, it indicates that the indirect mercy of the Lord for the, even a person who attains to the material uh, propensity can gradually be detached and raised to the spiritual platform. I Means slowly, uh, he Chaitanya Mahaprabhu didn't uh, directly give him that uh, mercy. He did give uh, that instruction, just give up everything and become a sannyasi like his brother, you know, leave everything. He said, how, who will take care of your family member? If you, this, you have a last family, who will take care of this? If you just leave everything and then uh, continue, means uh, fully engage in the emotional service, who will take care? He wanted uh, to engage his uh, himself his own his previous duties and but uh, in religious way and surrender to Krishna. That was and uh, all the Bhavanandas uh, uh, Bhavanandas rights and his family they came because uh, they were uh, very happy by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu they all said and that's why they all came and they offered their obeisances and they were telling how can we pay um, this price you know how can we we, we are very grateful. We don't know how to um, uh, be, means how, repay this kind of mercy. Now, actually, here, uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami was mentioning, uh, they were in, uh, they were also talking how you saved these five Pandavas in previous life. You gave their, your mercy to them. Like, same way, you are giving mercy uh, to us. Uh, Bhavananda Rai is uh, mentioning he is a Pandu in last life and he is also unaware past Pandavas. And how Chaitra Mahaprabhu uh, has given to uh, mercy, uh, means all the sun, he was very dear to them and um, uh, even Pratap Rudra, he was a devotee of Krishna, he was a devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he was also giving same mercy because of they were the a devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he had um, forgiven all his dear debt, you know, all his Gopinata, Patanaika debts. And Arjuna, Krishna also, he had they, he had a very special a special um, connection with five Pandavas. The five Pandavas were um, very, very devoted. They never complained, whatever condition, they went through so much of difficulty, but they never complained about their life. They were very grateful with uh, uh, with uh, Lord Krishna and every moment they were remembering Krishna, whatever difficulty came in their life, they were they were always uh, remembering Krishna. That's why uh, here Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami also he was mentioning before uh, this verse, you know, from uh, Brahma's prayer. 
he was um, uh, taking how the who is eligible to get the mercy of Sri Krishna. He was mentioning that in a kampa sumaksi as susumik seno bunza nevatma kritam vipakam. Ritvaga bapu vir vidadana namaste. Jive tayo mukta pade sadhidaya bha. Brahmaji is praying uh, in uh, this same chapter also. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami also mentioning this verse. He is quoting this verse. My dear Lord, one who is uh, honestly waits for your uh, for you to bust to your causeless mercy upon him, all the while patiently suffering the reaction of his past mistakes and offering your respect of his senses. Offering you respectful obeisances with his heart, force, and body is surely eligible for liberation, for it has become his rightful claim. Brahma, Brahmaji is mentioning here uh, uh, who is who really wants the Lord's mercy, who is eligible to get your mercy, means whatever suffering uh, it come in their life. They just present, uh, they just uh, do, they just suffer at the same time. They were uh, very grateful with Krishna because he wanted to clean all my sinful desire. Uh, this is a special mercy, Krishna. I offer my obeisances to again and again because you are purifying me every moment. They don't think this is because Krishna is putting something kind of um, all the difficulties in my life. You know, our devotees never think who want his real mercy. They never blame uh, to Krishna. They just, uh, they are uh, just uh, feeling this is my, uh, uh, this is a uh, very special mercy. Uh, Krishna is just purifying me. After this, uh, all the difficulty, I surely see my, uh, see Krishna's lotus feet. And he is very thankful, you know, whatever uh situation he is in and always remembering krishna that person uh, is uh, very uh, yeah, um, very dear to krishna means they are eligible to get krishna's mercy and the same parnavas they were always in that mood they were always uh, that mood. krishna in uh, we can see in uh, krishna's uh, mahavarata also how they were uh, so they were never complain any situation, whatever condition they were in, they were always uh, in the side of Krishna, following Krishna's instruction. Same thing uh, here, we can see how all the um, Bhavananda's son, they were the, all the devoted son, uh, and then they were very happy, you know, uh, whatever, even though they are going through in the happiness uh, or they are going through the stress situation. They were very happy. They were very devoted to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And uh, also uh, here, uh, Krishna will be very happy with the devotees who are Akinsana here. In the same time, they they think he is the only my uh, proprietor. He is the only my owner. It means he can only save me. Nobody can save, you know. Nakunti Maharani also, she was saying, Janmai Surya Sutakshri Vira, you know. Edamana Madapuman. Means who has all the material opulence, Janma Aishwarya, uh, Sruta Shrivir, Edamana. Maybe they are very proud of their material opulence. But who can get your mercy? Tom Akin Sana Gocharam. Means who have nothing material, nothing material, you know. Their only property is Krishna. And that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted us to be in that situation, fully surrender to Krishna and then get his mercy. Uh, but same time, he will not force. Uh, he knows our situation. He knows the Bhavanath Patanayaka situation. He was not telling you should surrender everything and devoted everything, uh, become a sannyasi and uh, do um, uh, uh, come with me or, uh, uh, you know, uh, devoted everything. He was telling just who will take care of your uh, big family member. You have to do your work. You have to be in your position and but be and don't do kind of uh, immoral activities you know do religious activities so you can uplift but always surrender to me you know he was requesting um uh, that's why uh, here uh, also he was telling uh, the things uh, 
uh, another thing is a very uh, important thing. Uh, uh, Krishna's mercy comes through his devotee. You know, Gopinatha Patanaika, he was not uh, directly approaching Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for his material distress. Uh, uh, he knew, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also knew that because he is a supreme personality of Godhead, he knew from the devotees. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu outwardly, he was not uh, showing his direct mercy to also uh, this devotee uh, because uh, uh, Chaitanya, he is Gopinatha Patanaika. He was uh, uh, just telling all the devotees go and pray to the Sri Chaitanya Mahakare Jagannath. Uh, maybe he will, uh, even though you can and say one time to him, maybe he will commit again and again, same, same kind of activities. And then how can um, Miss Sanyas involve all these kind of activities again and again and do all these things? I cannot do, you know. But uh, devotees are always very, very merciful. Any problem, any kind of problem, you know, material, spiritually, does not matter. Devotees are very merciful. Devotees take directly part of this their life you know they will uh, interfere their uh, situation and they will solve their problem we can see from Sri Ashla Prabhupada also even though he was sanasi when he was he came here he could see the situation of the that present situation of when he was there all the people were indulging all the uh, they were not following the four regulative principle they were indulging in illicit relationships they were not married and then all these you know and Prabhupada was directly uh, uh, he came he became priest and he made them married and at least you have to be in the married life you should not indulge in the sinful activities in a relations. You cannot be a um, girlfriend and a boyfriend and then practice with bhakti, you know. Because to practice bhakti, at least you should follow for a great principle. And he made them married. He, he was directly involving in their material affairs. It was, uh, Prabhupada was even mentioning uh, in his purport, how uh, so many others and as he, they criticize and as he's not supposed to be directly involved um, in, the, in this kind of situation. But uh, even here also, Prabhupada mentioned today's uh, purport, when devotee is very merciful, especially mercy, um, very merciful when somebody is getting a special mercy from the senior devotees or uh, pure devotees, they uh, directly indulge in our life, means they, they, can, they can directly come and interfere uh, in our life, just like uh, here Gopinath Patanaika's things. Here, all the devotees, uh, they were continuously praying, uh, telling Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the beginning also, they were saying how he was um, uh, he was almost died, he, he had put an in this situation, and later on all the family, they were arrested against Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they were mentioning to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how uh, it is uh, very hard for them, devotee, you know, for devotees, it's very hard to digest all these things and they were again requesting to Saitra Mahaprabhu. And Saitra Mahaprabhu's mercy, I mean, Saitra Mahaprabhu was here, uh, Krishna Das Kajiraj Goswami was mentioning when Saitra Mahaprabhu mentioned, you all go and pray to uh, Jagannath, uh, Lord Jagannath, and maybe Jagannath will take care and then Hari Chandan, you know, he was by his uh, Paramatma, he feel some compassion and he went to the king and then he delivered this message, what is the right message, you know. And that is all Zitra Mahaprabhu's desire. But it came through devotees. And that's why uh, Adipurana also, uh, so Prabhupada mentioning some of the numbers. Uh, and Chaitanya Charitra Amrita also it was saying, Yemi bhakta jana partha, name bhakta sate janaha, mat bhaktam saye bhaktas, teme bhakta tamamata means those uh, here it says uh, Krishna himself is saying to Arjuna, my dear partha, one who claims to my devotee. Uh, is not so. Only a person who claims to be the devotee of my devotee is actually my devotee. No one can approach the Supreme Personality of God directly. One must approach him through the pure devotees, you know. Uh, that's why Prabhupada is mentioning. Therefore, in the system of Vaishnava activities, the first duty is to accept the devotee as 
uh, uh, devotee as a special master than to render service unto him. Um, uh, that's what we say, is, uh, is, uh, Krishna also mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, that we deep in Patina, Pari Prasne, and Sevaya, Padaksha, and Tide Ganam, Ganina. Darshina because they know the truth, you know, they know the tattu. That's why we have to go through to understand Krishna, we have to go through uh, his devotee. Now, also, we can see now, also, we can see here his devotees are so merciful. Uh, Gopinath Patanaika and the Kasi Mishra also, uh, he was mentioning the same thing because when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very unhappy because everybody comes to me for their material benefit, you know, no, not for the spiritual upliftment or not for the Krishna Katha. And then um, Kasi Mishra was mentioning, he didn't come, actually he didn't come for, he was very distressful and he was giving, no, you should not feel like that because he was not coming, he never came and uh, say anything about his distress. All the devotees were mentioning, you know, and then all the devotees were requesting him, uh, please uh, uh, free from this situation. And then he actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, purify him such a way because he, uh, devotees say, Krishna is like that. Uh, Krishna, uh, Prabhupada also mentioned, and so many places in purport, he said, any devotee want material benefit uh, from Krishna. That's why in Bhagavad Gita also, Krishna says, we should not go to the demigod for the material benefit. Why? Uh, uh, material uh, benefit, if we go through uh, demigod, what happened? Demigod may fulfill our material desire without consideration, you know? They will, because they don't, uh, with them, we don't ha uh, have any connection. We have Jiva have connection only with Krishna, just like parents have connection with the children. Like same way, uh, Jiva has a connection with Krishna. Jiva don't have a special connection with the demigod, because, um, because uh, if we pray to demigod, they may fulfill our desire, but Krishna will purify our desire, fulfill our desire, also, same time, he will purify also, purify us also. Here, Gopinath Patanayaka's case also, he was um, doing all this, he was using all the money, but Krishna, Chaitra Mahaprabhu purified him such a way when he realized that time when he was supposed to kill, and then he saved uh, by the order of Pratap uh, he felt that is a special mercy of Krishna and he was uh, per promising to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I'm not uh, doing this kind of things again, you know. And then again also here, we can see from the uh, uh, Bhagavatam also, how he, uh, Lord Krishna, purify uh, the Dhuru Maharaj's desire. Even though Dhuru Maharaj has a desire, uh, material, big, material desire, but he didn't approach to demigod. He approached to uh, Lord uh, Vishnu. And uh, Lord Vishnu uh, gave, last when he was doing all the shruti for the uh, material things, at last what his realization, oh, why I came for this um, broken glass. He feel whatever desire he had before that is nothing compared to uh, devotional service. When he see, saw that Vishnu face to face, he, he, his desire was not anymore very important for him, you know. He was feeling even regret. He was even regretting. Same thing is happening to the Gopinath Patanaika. Even though when he was uh, getting his special mercy of Sri Chaitra Mahaprabhu, and he was feeling so much of guilty in his heart, you know. And then uh, for this kind of things, uh, Lord Chaitra Mahaprabhu had to involve, you know. And uh, even same time, Chaitra Mahaprabhu, his mission is not... Uh, only give the material desire. He want to purify, he will give. Prabhupada said, if Krishna gave mercy, he will fulfill our material desire. But if he want to give, give a special mercy to the jiva, he will take all the material desire. It's not like that we should, we should be afraid he will take immediately because he will see our situation, you know. How Chitra Mahaprabhu was giving his instruction to Gopinath Patanaika. He said he, uh, he, don't, he don't need to immediately surrender and everything and it's be sannyasi because Krishna's main desire is to we full we we ha, we can fully surrender to, we can fully surrender to Krishna, but he will not force her, he will not 
uh, put in such a situation and uh, so we have to be afraid you know he will see what is our level also and uh, um, yes that was and, uh, and this is, krishna is never happy you know chaitra mahaprabhu because uh, when he come uh, in this material world when krishna comes all the purposes whenever krishna whenever he uh, comes paritranaya sadunam yes vinasaya saduskritam when krishna comes not for the uh, demons not for any purpose he comes in this material world. Uh, he 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 actually come for the devotees he actually come for the who is surrender soul who is really love krishna he want to involve them in his past time you know all the past time whatever he did in this material world for his devotee who has a faith in his name who has a faith in his past time that's why here chaitra mahaprabhu's past time he was uh, krishna das kaviraj was telling e someone has complete faith in the service to the lotus feet of the lord you know all this past time why say chaitra mahaprabhu did for uh, for uh, for the devotees who has a faith they can be also be in the past time you know otherwise uh, jiva uh, uh, jiva here uh, krishna bhuli uh, krishna bhuli se jiva anadi bahir mukha you know and ateva maya tare daya samsar dukha I means this, this material all, uh, all the difficulties all the uh misery why it is coming to us because and they they knows krishna knows that things you know krishna knows all the devotees knows all the because we are forgetting krishna since time you know you know i mean uh, when we uh, uh we forgot krishna uh this all the difficulties come from what was also mentioning uh, just last uh, Uh, example i will say what prophet said and then i will in the call and suddenly a rich man uh, son when uh, in the son, in the very young age he just fight with uh, father i don't want i want to independent i don't want to be with you i don't i want to go from you you know even though he was very rich man son but he went somewhere and he forgot his position and then he just slaughtering in the road and then now he don't have food he don't have anything he he don't know his identity he is suffering he is begging he is uh, looking for some work means he want to be in the good situation he is struggling same position is ours means uh, since time uh, immemorial our time long time we are forgetting krishna and the, all the reason we are suffering here because we are forgetting krishna and chaitanya mahaprabhu he doesn't want that you know he want us all everyone all the jiva uh, come uh, and surrender to him and that's why he came as a devotee in the merciful mood you know that's how we were talking about how devotees are more merciful than uh, even krishna same things here uh, chaitra mahaprabhu came in the mood of a devotee to deliver us he has so merciful nature the same mood he accept and he came thank you so much mata ji hari bol uh, please forgive me if i say something wrong or any any mistake please correct me uh, thank you to the sundar mata ji for giving the chance hari krishna jai krishna and gopika mata ji what a beautiful class very very beautiful class wonderfully you delivered the message you know connecting it to the position of pandavas that how they you know tolerated and then quoting the beautiful the celebrated verse of brahma tatyanu kampa so sikshamanu and then uh, quoting the example that how you know we should tolerate and then you took us to various levels from the pages of shrimad bhagavatam especially in the case of kunti maharani you quoted about kunti maharani that how krishna is the you know he is what do you to say he is the property of the impoverished akinchana gochara so so beautiful mata ji and how you connected it to gopinath patnaik's past time that's so wonderful and last point i liked uh, what you quoted is that how uh krishna hears to his devotees krishna cares for his devotees so gopinath acharya gopinath patnaik didn't approach himself but through the devotees and that's why lord chaitanya helped him so beautiful class mataji thank you so much 
Thank you for your wonderful, wonderful association. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Madhavi. It's all your grace. Hare Krishna, Madhavi. Ranvat Pranam. All grace to Srila Prabhupada and all grace to Madhavi Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Madhavi, for the beautiful, beautiful class. And so nicely, cool, calm <laughs> that you explained, you read all the verses also so nicely, so that we get a we get into the mood of what she, what is explained in the verses. And there were so many examples which you gave about Guru Maharaj, and so, so many so many examples you gave you gave to explain the topic. Thank you, Mataji. Would like to hear from you again. I think in the chat also, Priti Vilasini Mataji is also send a chat in the. A message in the chat. So, thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Love you and bless you, Mataji. The devotee's association is very good. Hare Krishna. Yes, Mataji. Mataji, can you go ahead and raise your hand? Gauri Sevika Mataji, you have raised your hand. Hare Krishna Mataji, Dandavat Pranam. Thank you so much for this lovely lecture and also for reminding uh, the, the very important concept that if Krishna gives mercy to someone, he can give all the material opulences, but if he wishes to give special mercy, he would take all the material opulences. Mataji, I was thinking about a, a question and I wanted to ask the same. Uh, Mataji, in this case, as we have noticed that Gopinath Patnaik, uh, he misappropriated the funds. So, uh, at least in this past time, he did something that was not quite ethical, but still the devotees were um, promoting him towards Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they were requesting him to uh, save him from this calamity. So from the devotees angle, it is understood that they are always merciful. So even if we commit any mistakes, they will always forgive us for that. But Mataji, is it correct to do so? Because suppose if I have this habit of committing mistakes, so I will just depend on uh, devotees like you to help me and to give your mercy and I may keep committing such mistakes knowing that you will uh, pray for me and release me from such sins. Thank you so much, Mataji. Uh, I don't think so, Mataji, in that uh, mood because uh, Gopinatha Patanaika, um, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he was habitual all this in these activities, I think, because of his previous desire. It, uh, in this past time, it, May, it shows, I think, in that way, he was habitual uh, in this all these activities using money and using his uh, government for in for his sense gratification, and that's why he was putting uh, in this kind of situation. Uh, but um, that's what Prabhu, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was also saying, uh, maybe this time you may all say pray to Jagannath and then he say, but again, if he do same kind of actions, what, what should I do, you know? Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not very happy at the same time when he got, um, if he got free from this kind of situation. Uh, and even uh, when uh, devotees are also uh, uh, will see his uh, intention uh, when a devotee knew that his intention is not uh, he is not doing intentionally all these activities in that case only devotees goes and interfere uh, i was remembering one past time of my guru Maharaj, uh, because um, you know uh, here, uh, this is a very material uh, kind of uh, situation. It is the uh, Guru Maharaj was mentioning in some place in uh, South America, maybe. And uh, their uh, wife and husband, uh, they were fighting. And then and uh, somehow other um, uh, the Mataji approached uh, to Guru Maharaj and then it's the situation is happening, you know. Please Guru Maharaj say me, my husband is doing sitting to me. Uh, you have to say me all these things. 
and then Guru Maharaj tried to interfere in their life and then he tried to save them. But later on, that same lady was telling, uh, you know, it was uh, even court and going, it was even going to the court case and then, no, no, my husband is nothing is doing, you know, he was not doing anything. Later, the court case was, uh, even Guru Maharaj was uh, supporting her, uh, very, I mean, interfering and supporting in her case. But later on herself, she was saying, in the court, oh, no, no, my husband is very nice, you know. She was sense her mind immediately and then Guru Maharaj said, I'm not interfering in your wife and husband case, you know. <laughs> because Guru, the what is uh, they are not foolish. They will see the intention of the devotee person. If he's committing this kind of sinful activities because of his previous habit, you know. And then he is also ready to rectify because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he went, Gopinath Patanayaka went and then surrendered to Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he is ready to rectify. He wanted his mercy. Why not you give me mercy like my brother, you know? He was saying. Same case, if they would, if they are ready to rectify their mistake and they are ready to surrender. Um, uh, more to Krishna in that case, uh, even Krishna can interfere and devotees can interfere. But again, if they have a tendency to commit this kind of uh, activities again and a sinful activities again and again, uh, devotee will not do, I think, Madhuji. Yes, Madhuji, that was very logical. Thank you so much. It just cleared my doubt completely. Thank you very much, Dandavat Pranam. Thank you so much, Anjana Gupta Mataji. I see one more hand raised, Mataji. Uh, Shubham Shukla. So, Mataji, please unmute yourself and ask the question, Mataji. Mataji, your voice is not clear, Mataji. We cannot hear you. I'm so sorry. Prabhu, your voice is breaking. Still, we cannot hear you. Probably the network is uh, slow. So, uh, Prabhu, you can type your question in the chat box, Prabhu. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Danvet Pranam. Very beautiful class, Mataji. Yeah, nice question answer session too. I just had one point to add to the Mataji's question. Is it okay to say, Mataji, please? Yeah, like you rightly said, Mataji, uh, yeah, a repeat offender, uh, you know, may not be forgiven. The Lord himself came to the rescue of Gopinath Patanayaka. Uh, because he, you know, Apichet Sudhuracharo, it's an accidental mistake on the part of the devotee and due to whatever reasons, past karma or whatever. So, but if there is a repeat uh, offender, then the Lord is not going to help. I mean, we cannot take the, uh, you know, the mercy of the Lord uh, and commit mistakes after mistakes and, you know, uh, and expect him to, um, you know, uh, protect us. So, uh, I mean, if there is an accidental fall down, then definitely the Lord recognizes that those devotees on the path of devotional service and uh, he shows extra special mercy and tries to pull him out of the situation. So I just wanted to add this, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. So wonderful point, Mataji. Yeah. Thank you, Mata Hare Krishna. Uh, Shubham Prabhu, would you like to try now? Mataji. I think Prabhuji's internet is very good. Yeah, I'm a little remote. That's why it's not there. Is 
add other any comments or suggestion Mati ji any things to add Hare Krishna Anjana Gopika Mataji, Dhanvat Pranam, uh, Glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, okay. Yes, Mataji, very beautiful class. Thank you so much for giving us your realization, sharing your realizations and uh, so many examples that you quoted and so many shlokas that you quoted very nicely. You were explaining uh, what exactly the situation is. Uh, Mataji, I have a question. Yes. So, uh, Mataji, over here, uh, while you know you were you were saying that uh, whatever they are earning, they are still offering it to the Lord only, right? Whatever they were making, or you know, through even if they kind of uh, cheated the king, they were serving the Lord with that money. So, is that uh, is that okay? Um, like the the money that we earn through wrong sources uh, can be used that anything in the service of the Lord. Mm, yeah, it's a, it's a very hard kind of question, Matiji, but whatever I feel, uh, because uh, that uh, it was not discouraging in this past time um, because he was a devotee of Krishna, ultimately, they were serving uh, to Krishna. Uh, uh, maybe we can uh, see uh, at least. Uh, um, uh, I heard from uh, His Holiness Radhanath Maharaj's lecture. He was uh, actually giving the class, and then uh, devotees were wanted to open the beer factory, and then and they wanted to. I think uh, we are the kind of things which is not very much. Uh, uh, directly involving a good religious, uh, even focusing for good uh, uh, work. And then Maharaj was telling, uh, actually, I will not recommend it, you know. They were asking to Maharaj, and he was saying, I will not recommend it, who is promote to the sinful activities, you know. Mostly, it's not very much recommended, Mataji. But if the situation, sometimes it happens, uh, like uh, if there is no other way, and sometimes devotee had to go through this situation and indulge the earn money and offer. But mostly, I don't think so. It is very encourageable because we can see from our uh, uh, Asari, our devotees, the proper disciple, uh, we can learn from them what is their instruction. Uh, their instruction is not very recommendable, Mataji. Thank you so much, Mataji. Yes, I mean, definitely uh, we need to watch for what the source is, but it's very difficult to do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. because it's every situation is a very, because we are a conditioned soul and then it's a very much chance to we can, we go through in indoors, you know, my is very strong. We should be very careful what we are doing also. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, y yes, and we were reading like in the ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita there, uh, there was this uh, Srila Prabhupada had mentioned in his purport, uh, and also I think in a lecture too, so I think, yeah, this is from the lecture, that if, if we donate some money or give some money to someone, uh, this is not 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 for the service of the Lord, but if we give something to someone, then uh, obviously we they would have to give it back to us uh, at some point. Maybe maybe this life, maybe next life. You know, we're kind of bound by that law. In the same way, if someone has done, uh, you know, acquired their money through some uh, illegal means, or you know. Um, through bad ways, we would still accrue that karma. So uh, that happens only when we are in the karmic cycle, right? When we're here, when we are uh, serving the Lord, uh, would it even be applicable was my, you know, second doubt. Yes, Mataji, I feel, you know, uh, for a devotee who has just uh, dedicating their life, it is not recommended, but a general 
um, uh, people in the mass, we cannot say anything. And if they desire to give to Krishna, we cannot deny also. And that's why it's a very much um, recommended uh, devotee. They should not use uh, any money, donation money for their purpose. Uh, because the devotee may not indulge directly in kind of activities because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also warned before he was not fully surrendered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was doing Gopinath Patanaika, but later on, he also encouraged don't do this kind of things, do the, um, uh, don't indulge and then whatever uh, money is on use for uh, religious purpose and putative activities. Uh, but uh, who are the general mass of people, we cannot tell you cannot do this, you cannot do that. But uh, if they have a desire to uh, donate the money, that money, the devotee, mature devotee, they have to use for the service for Krishna, uh, only for the service for Krishna. Uh, so they can also be purified. Mataji, I feel. Very nice, Mataji. Thank you so much. Mataji, in the chat also, I think Prabhuji has put in his question. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for a wonderful class, Mataji. Please continue to give us your association. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bul Mataji. I'm sorry. I just wanted to uh, add to uh, Indu Mataji's question. Is it okay? Yeah, yes, please, Mataji. I want somebody to add Mataji. Yes, please go ahead, Mataji. Yeah, because I was also thinking on the same lines when I was uh, reading Gopinath Pashtayak's uh, pastime. So, uh, you know, where do we draw a line in the service of Krishna? So, um, so this is what, you know, I was, I in fact even emailed my Guru Maharaj regarding this topic because I was also not able to get around it. And uh, then this is what I understood, Mataji. I, I read another article by another devotee who discussed this topic in length also. And uh, it is only under the order of Guru or the Lord himself that, you know, we can perhaps, uh, um, you know, um, resort to some method like this to serve Krishna. But if we do it whimsically thinking that this will please my Guru or Krishna, you're going to accrue bad karma. I mean, if it's like how, uh, you know, Arjuna, uh, he fought the war because Krishna directly instructed him to do it. And uh, uh, other places too, we have seen how Krishna helped uh, the Pandavas, you know, to uh, uh, win a particular situation like that, though it may not, you know, be morally, I mean, apparently morally right, but uh, it's only under the, uh, authority of the Lord or the spiritual master, you know, if they sanction only we should perhaps look at any other means of, you know, um, trying to serve Krishna. But if they do not, then that's wrong. I mean, you cannot just say I'm doing it for the service of Krishna and do anything you like. So that doesn't work like that. So that's what I understood, Mataji. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank Mataji. you so much, Mataji. Mm -hmm. Mataji, Thank you. A, yeah, yeah, please go ahead, Mataji. Yes. I'm sorry, Mataji. Yeah. Do you want to go through? Yeah, Prabhu's question also same, uh, like how Mataji was putting forward. I think same, Prabhu, uh, because Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Dharma Paritatya Mamekam Saranam Pazit. You know, uh, Krishna is saying, if you surrender, you don't need to worry about, um, I will uh, free from your all sinful activities. In Gopinath Patanaika's case, he was uh, showing as a general mass of person. Just like uh, if you are already committed uh, in coming, uh, you are already committing, you are not doing any activities, which is uh, related to four uh, sinful activities. I mean, it's, uh, it's for them. It's uh, our, uh, we have to be careful, but the general mass of people, whatever they did in previous life, it does not matter because we all did so many previous uh, sinful activities. But when we come uh, uh, contact with the devotees and uh, we also committed, we are not going to do all these kind of activities again. And then uh, we want to follow devotional service. In that case, we should not indulge, you know. But uh, general mass uh, uh, case, uh, uh, when uh, whatever they did in previous life, previous time, before coming devotional service, it will be forgiven. Probably. But you know, you will see uh, even the host, uh, if we see the uh, host, uh, when uh, somebody decides 
they become a ghost. But devotees who is taking second initiation, when they decide they will become Brahma Rakshasa. Because why? Because they know the value of human life and then still they are committed sinful activities. They will not be given for given easily. Maybe uh, simple uh, general people, if they committed uh, uh, suicide, uh, means if they do some kind of activities, they will be forgiven a little bit. But devotees, when they do some kind of activities, uh, for them it will be it is really very very you know they have to suffer more that's why uh now this uh gopinatha patanaika case is in the it's going as a central you know how he was indulging all these activities when he was as a as a general mass of he was a devotee he has a faith uh but later on he committed and then he was fully surrendered to krishna mahaprabhu you know uh that case and that's why Krishna will uh, give for him all the our sinful reaction to this. Sarva Dharma Parikasya Mahavikam Sarayatata Krishna Sleekin Bhagavad Gitaaya I feel in that way anybody want to aid or anything to stay in the Prabhupada's blessing they can go ahead. Okay, Hare Krishna devotees. So, if there are no more questions, Hare for Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna, I'm so sorry. Yeah, please uh, go ahead. Yeah. Hare Krishna Mataji, Tantavat Pranams, all glories to Sri Guru and Kauranga, Jai Sri La Prabhupada. Uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful lecture, Mataji. It was, uh, I think, uh, you brought in contrast of Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita and uh, many stories of Srila Prabhupada connecting it so well to Gopinath Patnayaka's story. Uh, so I really enjoyed the class. The flow was great and the presentation was awesome, Mataji. I think uh, the words were continuously pouring out of your mouth like a nectar <laughs> and uh, it was so sweet and uh, very, very nice and relishable, Mataji. A lot of lessons that you brought out and uh, beautiful question and answer session. Uh, I think I enjoyed the whole conversation as such, Mataji. Mm, just uh, wanted to uh, share some of the thoughts, Mataji, if yes. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mataji, for encouraging. I know you are also very nice speaker and so much of free alive. So you all have Mataji, but uh, it has been very Mataji, so merciful. All the devotees are so merciful and they give me a chance to share my realization. Thank you, Mataji, for encouraging. Go ahead, Radhika Mataji, please. Yes, Mataji, your realizations were so beautiful. How you contrasted it with uh, Bhagavad Gita, Apichet, Surudharo, Charo, and Brahma's prayers. I really love the flow, Mataji. There's absolutely so much connection and intricacy behind the whole uh, pastime. I mean, it's just so uh, delicate and a uh, lot of things that we need to take away as, uh, as a result. Uh, so my uh, things is this, Mataji. I just wanted to uh, add to the realizations of yours as well. Um, so we all know that Krishna is the Supreme Master and uh, we are all his external servants. And uh, in, in any condition, our motive should always be to please and satisfy Krishna. Uh, so uh, so in this case, I mean, uh, if you look at uh, Gopinath Patnaika's uh, case, uh, I mean, uh, so, so when, when we try to please Krishna, uh, we should not forget the principles of morality, religions and ethics. Uh, I mean, that is the base. And if you're going to forget or deviate from those principles, that is not going to be pleasing for Krishna. So obviously the money that you derive uh, by not following the codes of conduct, uh, that's not, that is sinful. The sinful money cannot be utilized to please Krishna because uh, if you were to offer food to Krishna, we are going to offer food that is pleasing to Krishna. Right. I mean, you're not going to offer food that is not pleasing to Krishna. So if it is meat or anything with onion, garlic, he is not going to be pleased, even though there can be a mood of devotion. But to start off, it is not going to please the Lord. Uh, so just wanted to add this point that any deviation from the principles of morality, religion or ethics is not going to please Krishna. And when in fact it doesn't please Krishna, then we should not be involved in such a situation to start off. Uh, so we should always remember that we are in the position of an eternal servant to Krishna and always 
think about how our dealings are in all respects. Uh, obviously, uh, to please Krishna is not easy because you need to understand what his likes and dislikes are. And for that, we need to be uh, good with the Shastras and uh, good with what Krishna wants from us. So the basic has to be cleared up before we actually uh, try to understand what pleases Krishna and what doesn't please Krishna. So the Shastras, knowledge of the Shastras definitely help to purify the mind and the intelligence. And that way we will know what pleases Krishna and what doesn't please Krishna. So this is uh, my two cents, Mataji. Thank you so much for the beautiful class again. I totally appreciate it. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna, uh, Mataji. Uh, with your permission, uh, you know, I was a little bit hesitant in uh, seeing what Radhika Kasturi Mataji is saying. So can I say a line, Mataji? Uh, Mataji, please go ahead. Yeah, Radhika Kasturi Mataji, what you were saying is uh, what I feel is saying from the devotee point of view that, you know, those who are really, you know, on the platform of devotional service, those who have read Bhagavad Gita or those who know something about spirituality, yes, for them, they should do whatever pleases Krishna and Krishna accepts. But there is another point, you know, where people, they do not know anything about Krishna, like mm -hmm. when you go for book distribution, right? So we don't know whether we are approaching to a drug addict or we are approaching to a person who is earning his means through, you know, through wrong ways. We don't know, but we ask for the donation. And when we get the donation and their money is purified. So what do you think? Krishna doesn't like it. Krishna do accepts it, right? And that's from where this Agyat Sukriti comes. So this is how, you know, Krishna, when anything that is used in Krishna's service, even though, even though it is not acquired with the proper moral values, still Krishna accepts it to an extent that it gives a Gyat Sukriti to that person. And then the person, you know, comes to the platform where he involves himself into Satam Seva in the service of devotees, and then the progression of devotional service takes place. So this is what you know i want to add that it's not that krishna doesn't accept because in bhagavad gita throughout the pages always Prabhupada used dovetail you know dovetail your each and every activity to krishna now from devotees perspective yes we have to do something that pleases krishna but from the non-devotees aspect even for them the bhagavad gita holds its value where it says that do everything for krishna even you are doing nine to five job dedicate it to that nine to five job towards krishna and slowly and gradually the progression will start i don't know Absol whether... absolutely mataji i i am in line with you i was just talking about it from a devotee's perspective because gopinath patnaika is a devotee and there is an accidental fall down here and uh, i meant to say it from a devotee's perspective only i, I didn't comment anything on the non devotee's perspective because again the knowledge is missing that's why i said there is uh, the relevance to the shastras when you know the shastras you won't commit such an act but uh, I mean, if you don't know as such, then obviously Lord understands your position and he will uh, give you mercy according to what you deserve. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Mataji. I'm in line with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much, uh, Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna. Kriti Vasundari, Mataji. Can I just ask you a counter question on this? Yeah, just go. one clarification. So, Mataji, uh, what would happen to such a person who is not a devotee and uh, who like they have their own concoction of the Lord, like um, you know, like uh, for money, like when people are donating, when they uh, suppose a person is donating with full devotion, that okay, this is my my share for the community or this is my share for this temple. With that uh, attitude, one person is donating, and the second person is donating that okay, this is my uh, money which has been earned by all wrong means. And now I just want to uh, get some good karma out of it. And that is the reason I'm donating it. So in that case, what will happen uh, to the second person's motive? Because they have some motive with it. They do not have any devotion into it. But it is only that uh, somewhere that uh, that thing is eating them. 
that uh, i have earned money by wrong means and now i want to just uh, do some prashita for it so prashita also not they would just want to in front of the lord also they just pretending so what happens with such people thank you sita prithi maharaj <laughs> so we should give chance to anjana ko come at <laughs> yeah anybody anybody please anybody <laughs> anybody go ahead maharaj ji please go ahead you know <laughs> your honor today please no 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 please go ahead mata ji i will be very happy to get your realization please okay mata sorry mata ji because you mentioned that point so i just directed that question to you yeah, anybody yeah. please answer mata ji because no, this no, is really mata ji you know but anjana gopika mata ji i would love 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 to hear from you no 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 mata ji please go ahead i also want to hear your realization mata ji you know uh, definitely the person who is earning from the wrong means and if using that service that you know that money to krishna service you know quote in quote krishna service not in any other demigod service then definitely you know he is acquiring some kind of bhakti that is karma mishra bhakti because uh, he is doing it for krishna so definitely his bhakti is getting you know and uh, but he is not on that pure devotional level because he has some hidden motive behind donating that money maybe name fame or even getting money purified so definitely that is not on the pure devotional level but yes it's not that krishna is going to ignore everything because now we can just see the example mayapur tobp temple is coming from every person we are not even categorizing you know that only devotees should donate they are asking money from everybody so they don't know from where the money is coming and whether the money is being earned with the right motive or not but they are collecting because their money will be purified even if they have not earned it in a right way but their money will be purified so that was my point that it's not that krishna rejects krishna sees everything krishna takes because it may not be on the pure devotional level but it brings out some agyat sukriti for that person that's my understanding i may be wrong but anjana gopika mata ji oh mata ji it's a like a very nice heading you know you all giving the heading mata ji kya dekhe gayi hai kya bol ke gayi hai mata ji very very beautiful beautiful class mata ji and nice discussion your class is always very simple to understand uh, it is it was so nice mata ji you speak from your heart very nice and very nice discussion is going on mata ji i was uh, thinking when sita prithi mata ji asked that question um, but you know even though he's earning in a bad intention or he, but still he wants to give it to for krishna right so that mood is there. i am earning everything as a bad but i am only taking i am only enjoying i am giving it to my family then it's completely wrong but he has some intention to it to god that that will be appreciated by god right definitely and also who comes to the krishna consciousness is also like you know initially krishna shows so much of love even little service they do they'll get so much of love means so much of pouring love from krishna later only the all the rules krishna will put okay this one person is not doing properly yeah? uh, then then you know your mercy is gone <laughs> i mean so much of testing will happen initially even though you are giving it in any way but krishna shows so much of love that's how happened to me because initially so much of love from krishna after that when you fixed in your personal service krishna will try to test every way yeah mata ji just want to add because i personally faced that situation in my life so that's why i am adding that point mata ji very beautiful very beautiful class hari krishna thank you so much mata ji yeah that's why we also we are discussing how krishna ultimately he will purify you know he will not only take the money if he is serious if he becomes slowly serious he will purify slowly and make them to understand and he also gives us prabhupad i was reading yesterday prabhupad was telling uh the star he will give the sandesh you know uh if uh, so they have a bad habit to eating something uh, wrong things children uh, but later on parents like to give sandesh to the kids like that he will give uh, for very nice things you know this is a starting point i think we have to encourage anyway 
and then uh, when they fixed they will understand because the, when they come and the position uh, committed uh, some kind of activities or uh, surrendering to the pure devotees they will themselves understand in that position i should not indulge this kind of things i think before they, till that time uh, maybe uh, mataji was telling they will get a, a ghata sukriti and then they will understand their position later thank you so much uh, kritita sundari mathi ji and then suksagari mathi ji radhika mathi ji everyone for reading very nice points mathi ji we had a question from praneshwari mathi ji so pranesh mathi ji please go ahead mathi ji hari krishna mathi ji all glory to prabhupada guru maharaj mm-hmm. thank you anjana gopka i kind of came on in the middle of the class but um what i wanted to just comment was that wonderful the way you love guru maharaj the way you imbibe krishna consciousness and the, the sweetness and how you um give everybody that understanding of krishna consciousness really really touches the heart so i want to thank you for that um you have such a um a a, a real faith that comes through when you're speaking you close your eyes and you're just speaking everything from your heart and that's very very endearing thank you very much i appreciate that very much I wanted to add one little comment if that's possible. Please Mathiji and thank you for I was just going to say that with what the question about you know Agnatha Sukriti and all this stuff and I was thinking that somebody may think that how is it that somebody's doing so so such bad stuff or you know doing giving money bad for for to to for earning money um in a wrong way and then offering it to lord for some somehow getting um out of that karma i was thinking he gets agnata sukriti yes but we have to remember that his mood is not that of a devotee so he'll have that agnata sukriti but it's still up to him to choose the lord right so the lord is always giving us opportunities because just like a parent he wants to he wants who does he want you know he wants the kids that are farther away from him much much more he's thinking about that child right than the one that's close to him so you know he like chetan mahaprabhu he wanted everybody he wanted the you know the devotee as well as the non devotee as well as the demon to be part to come back to the family right so the lord is going to do that agnata sukriti because he wants to somehow get you at least it within his orbit but again it's the it's the mu it's the it's the it's the you know free will of that person to choose the lord ultimately mm-hmm. you know so that's i think that's just a thought that came to my mind as you were discussing you know you know he wants everybody back chaitanya mm-hmm. mahaprabhu obviously wants everybody back yes. so he's going to give all the opportunities he can but you know some of us are lucky enough to get and come in contact with a pure devotee and take shelter and some and some are not and have to just continue trying to drag those unwilling people back <laughs> hari krishna ma thank you thank you mata ji so it comment yeah even i was remembering in this past time also chaitanya mahaprabhu ji specially mentioning vani nath you know what he was doing even though uh, all the uh, everybody was in trouble because he had a special uh, affection not uh, with him because he is uh, his desire is only to please a uh, lord and then lord was very happy he was continuously chanting the holy name of the lord i uh, even yeah he Thank you so much, Mathi Ji. It's a very nice. Thank you so much, Mathi Ji. Okay, thank you so much, Anjana Gopika Mathi Ji, and thank you to all the devotees for this nice, wonderful discussion. So once again. वाचाकूप्यस्या कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम अनकोटिवैष्णवृंद की जय नाचार्य शील हरिदास ठाकुर की जय शील प्रभुपाद की जय असंबल डिवोटीज की जय चैतन चैतामृता की जय हर ग्रे संजना गोपिका माता Thank, Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Thank you all devotees. Hare Krishna.